There are quite a number of tips out there when you are making a website and one of the ones that I love the most is that when you are designing a page, make sure that on screen there is always a minimum of one graphic element, whether it is an icon or an image or something interactive that just keeps people more engaged with your site. If you ever need to do that in terms of a pie chart, then with happy add-ons, you get a pie and donut chart. I like the word donut. That is really easy to use and also a pleasure to use. And to show you just quickly how the pie chart looks, there's a little bit of animation as well. And then you also have the donut option as well. Not difficult to set up. This is a pro widget from Happy Add-ons and after you've installed it, you can just search for Pi and you're going to get your widget Pi and Donut chart. Click and drag it onto your page and it creates it nicely for you there immediately with your legend and labels here on the right. Your segments you're going to set up over here and you can immediately see how you're going to be doing that. If you need another segment, you just add one and if you want to delete a current one, you delete it. But let's have a look first at how the segment is built out. Click on red and you will see that it says label, which is red. And that will appear here under the legend and then the data 54. Now, what is this data? Is it a percentage? How does that work? Well, that's going to depend on how you want to set it up. If you want to set it up as a percentage, which means it counts out of 100, it's up to you to make sure that all of these labels add up to 100. But if you don't want to do that, you can just add the numbers here. And what Happy Add-ons is going to do is going to spread it for you proportionally. Under red, let's say we reduce it to something like just three. You're going to see that it will shrink. The red will appear over here and the others will grow proportionally to the value that you enter under red. If we increase it to a crazy number, let's say 120, you will see red takes a bigger area up now and these then appear in a ratio to the new value of red. As simple as that. To change the color, you go here to style. You have a background color as well as a background hover color. If I hover over it, you see it goes slightly darker. If we change it, let's say we go to something a little bit more purple on this side. And then we just change our content name to purple. Let's delete one. Let's say we delete the blue and again, it will fill it proportionally. And to add, I usually recommend don't add a new one. Simply go to an existing one like green, duplicate it, go to the duplicate, add a new color, add the name for the label. Let's add a new value. And then of course, under styling, you just need to go and change the color. Actually, you're not going to be working with colors. You're going to be working with values like sales and represent that within the pie. And then if you just want something different, go to the chart type and select donut chart. And that gives you basically a pie chart with a big fat hole in the middle. With settings, you have a lot more here. Here you have full control over the height and whether you want that legend to appear here Tooltips referred to as you hover over it, you will see that little tooltip appear that you can disable here. And then you also have this option to add a title. If you don't want to use a different heading element, you can add the title over here. But like I said, often for a case like this, I will just use a heading element. So for that, you can also then deactivate the title. Your legend, you have the control to show that. And if you do show it, you have control over the position, top, bottom, left, and to the right where we had started. I usually like it quite a lot to the left or the right. If you go to your section and you constrain the width, you will see that your legend will move closer. And I would highly recommend you do that in case you're using a small pie chart, then it's better to bring the legend closer. Back to our settings. And then here you also have control over animation as well as to animate the scale. And this will make it grow as it comes in. Nice little effect over there. Under styling, you have the styling for your legend or your box width, as well as your tooltip.
Learn more about happy add-ons for Elementor, that's both for the free and pro Elementor. Follow the link in the description below.